So, what's up everybody? So today we're talking about the soccer player that passed away. They found her body. It is unknown. The cause of death. But this is tragic. Somebody that was larger than life with their personality and their hard work and dedication passed away way too soon, way too young, but we know that she left a legacy behind. Just with her personality, who she was as a person, as an athlete, as a friend, and everything, and that's what we're gonna talk about. Stanford mourns death of goalkeeper Katie Meyer, age 22. The cause of death was not released. Stanford first announced the death of a student at one of its residence halls on Monday. On Tuesday, the university confirmed it was a soccer player, a senior international relations major. Meyer stopped two penalty shots to lead Stanford to a 5-4 shootout victory over North Carolina after a scoreless draw in 2019 championship game. The native Californian got attention for her anime celebration after the second save of the shootout before teammate Kiara Pickett drilled her attempt to hand Stanford the trophy. Katie was extraordinary, committed to everything and everyone in her world. Her friends describe her as a larger-than-life team player in all her pursuits. From choosing the academic discipline, she said, changed my perspective on the world and the very important challenges that we need to work together to overcome. The passion she brought to the Cardinal women's soccer program and to women's sports in general, Stanford said in a statement. So what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sweet. So we are actually talking about... Um, the soccer player, right? The soccer player that just, you know, passed away. Tragic, but yet she had a bigger than life personality when it came to her work ethic and who she was as a person and everything in between. She was a hard worker, Katie Meyer, right? Katie Meyer, Stanford, Connecticut, I believe, right? So here's the thing. Or Stanford, um, California, my bad, my bad. Um, but yeah, you know, they um, cause of death, they don't know, but she was a goalkeeper. She had this amazing um, aware with all and everything in one of these games where she really brought them into victory. And man, ain't, ain't that beautiful, right? Ain't that beautiful? She left a legacy of being a hard worker being dedicated to her craft, being dedicated to everything that she put her mind to, that she put her mind to. And it's such a shame that she is gone way too early, way too young in her life, right? A whole lot more to live, a whole lot more to be able to, like, experience in life and to accomplish. But this is what, I'm t this is what I want to talk about. A lot of us, we have these moments in our life where we are doing these big things or we are on the traje trajectory to doing even better things, to do even bigger things. But sometimes life may be cut short, right? Sometimes there may be some tragedy. Sometimes there may be some heartaches, some heartbreaks along the way that will derail you from going further. And this is what I'm talking about. We need to live every second, every moment like it's our last because we never know when it is. We never know when it's going to be our last day. We never know when it's going to stop us, when we will not be here to accomplish anything more, to leave even more of a bigger impact that we already have. That's why we got to continue to live life like it's our last, continue to live life and impact people every single day. Continue to be more Christ-like. Continue to be better people. To continue to spread love and joy and peace to others, right? Because we never know when we will breathe our last on this earth. And just imagine. See, people are saying her personality and her work ethic was bigger than life. She had a larger-than-life personality when it came to everything. What are people going to say about you, right? What qualities will people remember about you? What memories, what impact, what will they remember about you? Me, 
I just hope that people could look back and be like, man, he was a good person. He he showcased love. He showcased joy. He showcased patience. Was he perfect at it? No. But he always tried his best to point people to God. He he lived for God. He he tried his best to leave an impact. He tried his best to share the love of God with other people. See, yes, I want to be remembered for being a great dad. I want to be remembered for being a great husband, a great friend, family member, brother, whatever it is, right? But most importantly, I want to point people to God. Am I going to be perfect at it? No. Are any of us perfect at it? No. We all go through our different things at times and Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be very, very difficult, but we will get there. We will get there and we will leave a legacy. We will leave an impact and we will continue to do so. No matter what is going on around us, no matter what is going on in this world, we will continue to fight on. We will continue to show love. We will continue to leave a impact. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so much, more than you ever know. So, Crayon Rocket, our motto is be unique, be creative, be you. Why is this important? Because we were all created in the image of God. We were all perfectly and wonderfully made. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Share it, like it, subscribe.